Hey, I'm Ashley, and today we're going to make some Spotify acrylic keychains here on Chip Builds. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Spotify and search for your favorite song. I decided to choose Daft Punk's One More Time. I really like that song. And so once you click on it, now you have the title of the song in front of you, and they see three dots. And what you want to do is go all the way down to the share section and there you can see where it says spotify code click on it and this picture will pop up and then take a screenshot of the spotify code itself so once we have that code i'll open it up in illustrator and click image trace and that will just turn that image into a vector image for us that we can then engrave on the glowforge sometimes it's not perfect with the automatic settings that it does so you might need to go in and mess about and play with the settings once you like how it looks, then you can click expand and then now you're good to go. Um, I took it one step further, I did ungroup these and I just swapped the Spotify logo from a fill to an outline. That way it looks better when it's engraved. So then I'm gonna copy that Spotify code and bring it into my cassette artwork file that I have. And I'm just gonna shrink down the code to fit it into this artwork. I've done this previously, so I know about the right size to bring it down to. And I just put it on top of the other one to get the placement correct. Then I can move that out of the way and delete the old one. And then I'll flip it using the reflect tool in Illustrator. And I do this backwards. That way, when you have the product in your hand, uh, the engraving will be on the back side of the product and it just looks a lot cleaner that way. So the material I'm using for this project is eighth inch cast acrylic that I got from a local plastic supply store here in Southern California. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check out their website. They're super nice people and they have tons of great different plastics at their store. I prefer to use cast acrylic rather than extruded acrylic just because I think it engraves better on the laser, but if you want to, you can use extruded acrylic. Just make sure whatever acrylic you are going to use for this project in your laser cutter that it's safe and it's not going to release toxic fumes once it's cut. Once you've opened up your artwork in Glowforge, you can choose what material settings you need. I'm just using the medium clear acrylic settings from Glowforge because I know that will work with the acrylic that I have. And you can do standard definition graphic or HD, which is high definition. I did one of each. I did the clear with the high definition and the blue with the standard. And honestly, I think they look fine, both of them. And there's no real benefit to doing the HD version. It just takes twice as long. So now you can take the masking off the back of it. I took the masking off the front because I didn't want to weed out all of it from the engraved area. I just thought that would be tedious. As you can see, though the acrylic did look a bit foggy from the engraving, and the easiest way to fix that is to take some isopropyl alcohol with a rag and just wipe it down and then it looks crystal clear afterwards. Next, we just add some keychain hardware to it and these keychains are pretty much good to go. I have two different types of keyring hardware, both are fine, you know, they get the job done. So next you can open up the Spotify app on your phone and click search and then hit the camera button and then you can test out your Spotify code keychains and now you can see that the code worked and it is playing Daft Punk's one more time. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you learn how to do this. If you do make Spotify code keychains, you do need to be careful. You can't just sell them right off the bat. A lot of the times what Spotify requires you to do is to contact the artist and get permission from that specific artist to see if you can get permission to sell these. Um, and it's kind of like a toss up. Some artists are super down for people to do it because it gets their song to more people. Other artists, not so much. So just do your research, you know, go to Spotify's website, look at their frequently asked questions sections, just that way you don't get in trouble. Cause I do know Etsy has been taking down some people's files that they have up there regarding the Spotify code keychains. So let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the comment section below. And if you want this specific cassette file, I'll have that in the link down below too, or you can get this file on my Patreon, so go check that out. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.